in Havana, Cuba, after Hurricane Ian and pass uh, from the capital is getting uh, to the normal. Our Telusur correspondent, Gladys Casada, has more. Yes, thanks for the time and this moment here in from the south and also for Telesur English. As you can see, weather here in Havana, in Cuba, is going back to normal as the sun is shining and also there is wind gusts back to normal and the skies are clear. However, you can see the sea is still waving, tides are high, but this is normal after a hurricane, this is normal after a storm. We are here at the Malecon, this is a landmark here in Havana, in downtown Havana. So far, authorities are still touring Havana and also the other affected cities. That is to say, Mayabeque province, also Artemisa province and Pinar del Rio, that was the hardest hit by the hurricane. So far, their affectations here in Havana are uh, simpler than in Pinar del Rio. As there is only a few um, houses affected, a few buildings and infrastructure. The major damage is on the trees that uh, the hurricane uprooted the trees here in Havana but the task of cleaning and also to pick up the debris is already underway and people is going back outside, is going back outdoors to enjoy the weather and also to uh, recover and also to wait because Havana, as the rest of Cuba, is under a power outage. In this case, as we know, authorities are working non-stop authorities and also the National Electric Union, that's to say the electric company in Cuba, is working non-stop to recover the power grid that is under a collapse after the hurricane. As we know, there are scattered municipalities, scattered regions that already have back the service, but that's to say the, the, that's the least in the country, that's the least in the island. So far, we know also the authorities are touring these affected areas and they are assessing and they are there firsthand watching all the tasks, all the labor, all the recovery efforts in the island. Back to you.